I'm going to show you how you can share a URL for a single record editor for a table. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com, and I will add a URL to this in the description. So this is useful if you want to do something similar to what Airtable forms do, but instead of for new records, you want to do it for existing records. So you want to be able to give a URL to somebody and have them be able to edit one single record. Be sure to check out our overall limitations because this will not give you the same experience as Airtable because there are a lot of limitations with working with Airtable um, in terms of the system. So let's go ahead and show you the table here. We've got a bunch of rows here. And as you can see, every row has a URL on the right. And this is a formula. This is given to us by the tool. And this allows us to be able to have a single unique URL for every single row. So let's go ahead and open this right here. So as you can see, you open it, it loads up, it shows you a simple table. The simple table will always only have one row. Um, let's go ahead and change this right here. Let's make this mic, hit save, it pops up. Let's change the date here. Let's do April. Um, let's do attachments. So in terms of attachments, you'll see a text box, but you can also see the little pop-ups here. And when you click them, they just drop you to the, um, to the new tab. Uh, to the file. So if you want to upload new attachments, you can't do it from your local device, but you can drop URLs here. So if I wanted to just make a new attachment with the same image, I would just make a comma separated list and hit save. And now both images become attachments. So when you buy the tool, this is what you'll see at first. You'll want to start by um, following this URL to get your API key, following this URL to get your base ID, and then finding your table ID by looking at this URL. Once all of that is done, your um, Airtable fields will pop in. So I can just refresh these. These will, clicking that button will resync all the fields and they'll automatically get imported. So for example, we definitely don't want the editor URL in there because you know we don't want the editor URL to show up here. And yeah, let's save this and let's see what happens here when we refresh. So when we refresh, we'll see the budget column, which initially was not there. There you go. Um, now I can, I can choose exactly what I want. So I can remove the budget column again, hit save and hit refresh. And then the users of this URL will not even know that that field exists. And you can rearrange these here too. Once you've done all of that, you can copy this nice formula by hitting on the settings icon and then drop in that formula in here. And that will give you the unique URL for every single field. Another nice things about this extension is that it allows you to have an unlimited amount of tables. So you can make these, you can add, so you can add this column to as many tables as you'd like in different bases, etc. 